Hey guys, Kiki here and welcome to another video. In today's video, I would like to go over how I resin printed this finger armor. Sorry, I don't know the technical term, so I am going to call it finger armor for my Mercy costume. And in the past, I've created armor for your hand in a variety of ways, including foam, rotocasting, vacuum forming, and other things that I may be missing. But so far, my favorite, I would have to say, is resin for a variety of reasons. I know I haven't been making videos as much recently, but I still have been working a lot and learning a variety of things as well as printing many, many things. And I have learned so much more since my last couple of videos, so I might need to come around and do more updated videos on different things I've learned about resin printing. So without further ado, if you're interested in how I created this, let's go ahead and get started. So I have all my patterns drawn out on paper and I only really trace one side because I can just mirror it in Blender and then I photograph it on my grid and then I transfer it onto the computer. I do the exact same thing for tracing my hand and I'm going to use this as a guide in Blender. And I also just take a picture and transfer it on the computer. I have a scaling video for transferring files digitally if you're interested. So one of the reasons why I traced my hand and I photographed it into the computer is because I don't have a 3D scan of my hand and I don't have a 3D scanner. It's something I hope to get in the future as I am 3D printing a lot more, so I think it would be useful. So I did print these rings for just ring sizing for jewelry, and I used these as a guide to help me make my finger armor. So I organized all my rings in order and I just go through until I find the right one that will fit where I need it to. So for example, to get them to work, I usually have one on the bottom and one on top so that it bends appropriately. And I just kind of play around with it until I find the exact size. Keep in mind if you're going to be wearing certain kind of gloves or anything like that because that's going to play a factor in your sizing and one thing I did learn is apparently my hands are not the exact same size so when I originally print two for my ring finger one of my ring fingers is actually significantly bigger than the other or a little bit bigger than the other one so I had to measure both hands just to make sure if I had any other fingers that weren't the same on each side. So just something I learned to keep in mind. Maybe your hands are normal, but apparently mine are not. So just something to think about when you're doing this process. So after I have all of them measured out, I went ahead and went over to Blender. So here's a model of one of the fingers done, and some of them I was able to just keep the same and copy them, and I only really changed the finger size, but some of the designs are different. For example, like the pinky is much smaller, the thumb is much smaller, and I also maybe had to shorten some pieces to really make this work. Here's my sample hand that I used, and I just took a generic hand, but also used the hand that I traced in the beginning of the video to kind of size the length of my hand and get an idea for the thickness of my hand. But if you're able to get a 3D scan, that's the best way to go. I have been considering making a series on Blender tutorials for cosplay, so if this is something you're interested in or just basic Blender tutorials, please let me know in the comments below and I might start creating those since most things I do right now are in Blender. So 
So I just took whatever ring sizes I used and kind of blended it with the shape of the armor and then went into Cheeto Box, which I also have a video on printing on Cheeto Box. I might make another updated video with doing that, so feel free to check that out. It's just a program that I use to print on my resin printer, and I will be using my Illigu Saturn. So they did come out great. I didn't really have any issues at all. Um, I did change my formula for resin. I used to just print on the ABS like. I did not realize how brittle they were until way later in the 3D printing game because I'm a very careful person. And it actually wasn't until my Roomba actually knocked over one of my pieces and broke it. I realized how brittle the ABS like resin is. So. Now I do a 50-50 mixture um, with a flexible resin and the ABS-like resin, which seems to work better. So I don't know if I'm going to reprint some of these or not. They might be fine, but from here on out, I definitely use a different process, which I might make a video on. I wanted to hold off because I've been waiting on another resin, but I've been waiting for over a month now. And I still haven't gotten it, and some materials are just kind of backlogged. It's also been really hard to get just like urethane resins right now, and there's not really any in stock. So some things are a bit harder for me to actually get a hold of. So after I'm done cleaning them off in the alcohol and get everything off of them, then I let them cure in the UV resin. And when that process is over, I went on to assembling. And the process is essentially the same. I assembled the pieces together by made these little tiny nubs with holes to kind of make it flexible and bending, which seems to work pretty well. And this is for the thumb, which fits on great. And I just made sure to measure the rings where I was going to be wearing them so that it would stay and I'd be able to move my fingers accordingly. I also labeled all of the fingers so I know which one is which before I put them on and for which finger. So I think that I'll probably stick with resin printing for future hand armor. It's definitely my favorite way to make finger armor or hand armor. I'm also working on the other pieces right now. They aren't quite done yet, but maybe I'll make a full video on some of the other pieces once they get finished. This is kind of an idea of sort of what it will look like all together. I know I don't have all of it complete, but I'm excited about getting it all done. Hopefully this costume will be done this year, so we will see. And I really would just want to give a big thank you for people who have been watching, liking, or subscribing to me. I'm really trying to reach that partnership just so I can maybe have more funding for making some more things. And as always, I want to give a big thank you to all my Twitch supporters this month. I really appreciate it. It really helps the studio. And I like just hanging out on Twitch sometimes and meeting new people. So thank you, everyone. And I can't wait to bring you guys another video. So thank you guys so much for hanging out. And I want to give a big thank you to Eld Rich, who is actually also a streamer on Twitch. Feel free to check them out. They have donated a hundred dollars this month at the studio, which really helps me out and I greatly appreciate it. Also, thank you everyone who has subbed to me this month. Thank you so much for hanging out. Um, hopefully I'll have a schedule soon so you guys can know exactly when I get on. Otherwise, the best way to know is if you just give me a follow. If you're interested, feel free to stop on by. And I just want to thank you all for the current support I've gotten so far with my YouTube. It's something I hope to keep growing. And I learned a lot from you guys, and I hope you guys are learning some things here from the channel. So thanks, guys.